I am so happy and nervous to be in front of you. <laughs> to match up all the speeches that just came before me. And I'm so privileged right now. I'm just gonna sing this moment. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> President and um, First Lady Warren, honorable guests, Shalvi uh, and Gail Davis, uh, Mr. Geyer from the, from the Davis Foundation, Holdings, dear Holdings, and everybody that made this amazing day possible, thank you so much for being here today. And of course, Greg. We love you. <laughs> fellow dreamers, fellow UWCers. Today, we come together as a big family, as a community of people who believe that through the force of education is possible to unite people, nations, and cultures for peace and what? Sustainable future, right? Right there. We know that, right? Guys, this is not just a concept. This is a reality. If you don't believe me, just look around your table. You will find that that's true. Dear dreamers, today we don't just celebrate the presentation of the Davis Cup, although that's an amazing achievement. But today, we have the chance to personally thank, <clears throat> personally thank Shelby Davis, his family, and the Davis Foundation for his unmeasurable support throughout the years. Thank you, Shelby for believing in the UWC spirit. All right, let me tell you a little story. This is not a formal speech, so that's why I'm going along these sides. Um, the first time I met Shelby Davis, I was the first UWC student at the MB Explorer at King Semester C. This happened back in 2013. I was nervous more than now. I was afraid, I didn't know what to say, and I just felt deeply in my heart, you know what, forget this nervousness. I need to stand up. and. Thank him in public for 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 what he for for all of us in, in the name of all of us. I was shaking, nervous, and so I stood up <laughs> and I realized that without his support, I don't know where would I be today if I wasn't for for him for his for his for, uh, for the UWC experience as a whole. So I just encourage you today to just close your eyes for five seconds, all the UWCs, close your eyes for five seconds and just ask to yourself these important questions. Where would you be today, right now, at this moment, if it wasn't for this amazing opportunity? Let me ask you, you know, I don't know the answer of that, it's hard to know, but definitely we'll be here right now, okay? All right, so let's get that. Um, so yeah, this, this question helps me to to keep track it to myself, and, and this, this question helps me to kind of go back to my humble um, thoughts, because sometimes, you know, as UW students, we are a little bit proud, or we might be a little bit cocky, or might feel entitled because we have this amazing opportunity, but, but guess what, no. We are so privileged, and we need to know this, okay? Uh, okay, so, so Shelby Davis for me is not just a donor or just a person who's supporting us you know, financially, but he's a really true mentor. And he told me two things, two, important, two very important things that have shaken my foundations. Number one, he told me, he made it very clear that he never just was giving his money blindly to us. Oh yeah, no. He was investing heavily for us to become the best we can be in any area of the studies that we decide to pursue to influence the society that we live in. So in this case, this society is OU. This society is Norman. This is Oklahoma where we need to be in fact, where we need to put our impact. Guys, I encourage you to honor this by joining organizations, putting yourself in social service, starting an organizations, not just between ourselves, but also gather other international students that didn't go to UWC or other domestic students that were not you know, able to experience what we experience. Let's, let's just not sit together in, in the dining hall between UWCs and just get close to each other, but let's go out and reach other people too, because that's what he wanted for us to do. And number two, of course, learning, earning, and returning. Of course, hopefully you all know that this is amazing, and we, need, we can do this right now. And you know how? By doing projects. Oh my God, you have no idea. I'm a senior right now, and I regret the times that I could have made a project happen, and I didn't. So guys, don't wait like I did wait. So you freshmen, sophomores, juniors, do projects. Guess what? 
It is a project for peace. What? And it's also funded by by Chalvin's foundation, by his mother. She, she started. And projects are very important because you can apply these three things. In a project, you are learning because you are learning about the project. You are researching. You are you want to solve a problem. There is also an earning part of the of the project because you are earning, let's say, ten thousand dollars or like you know, let's say something. And you're returning. Of course, you're putting all this. And with American students, with other universities that or not universities, you are bringing back to your community. You are giving back to your country, or or wherever you are, even in the U.S. So that is something I really wanted to encourage. And there are many other opportunities. Just let me uh, name four: uh, the Clinton Global Initiative, uh, Resolution Project. There are uh, projects uh, through semester at sea and more, more and more and more. You just have to look into it. And the, and the last thing I want to say is I encourage uh, to, that, to cre the creation of a program that I experienced in my previous university and I don't see it here. Okay, and this will be surprising, but I encourage to push towards a project, a program called the Take a Friend Home program. I hope we can make this possible. What is a Take a Friend Home program? Is when an American student is paired up with one, on, with, with one of us, and we will be funded, or just our flight tickets, to go back to our hometowns and to go to their houses and live with them for a month. And they will live with us for a month. There is nothing academic with that. It's just a personal development. I did it with my friend, and I was funded from Westminster College, and it was a transformational experience for him, as, I, as it was for me. I went to New York. He went to my hometown, Navancai, in the rural village in Peru. So, that's amazing. So hopefully we can that we can make that happen. Okay? Claps if you agree on that. Claps if you agree on that. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm way over my time. Uh, I just break up. Daydreamers, uh, let's never forget our backgrounds. Okay? Ask always yourself what you why why would you be today if it wasn't for the scholarship? Number three, be the best you can be and influence your community. Teach and learn from domestic and other UWCs and non-UWC students. Join organizations, start one, be the president of other ones, uh, do social service, and travel. Oh, you have so many opportunities to, to travel. I'm doing the journey to Brazil this summer. Guys, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. Finally, let's push for the creation of this Take a Friend Home program to bring one domestic student to live with us in our houses, with our families. That's the true family that we will build. And thank you very much for listening to me. And I hope it was not too long. Uh, <laughs> love you all.